Chill, what up? Welcome to week three, day two of Cine 39 South Park and Society. We are going to talk about corporations, control, and consumerism, kind of uh, dovetailing off of our last conversation about poverty, class, uh, class warfare, uh, Marxism. I know you love that Marxism um, from, our, from our last class, so we'll build a little bit upon that. And we'll talk a little bit about corporations and how South Park treats uh, the corporation um, in many of its episodes and economics in, in many ways. Um, just a reminder, just so you, you know off the top, next week uh, we got a little test going on. I decided to uh, drop the take home essay part and just make it 100% true, false, multiple choice. Um, I hope you find that amenable. I think maybe if, 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 if the first exam is really painful, I will offer the essays as bonus, bonus, uh, question, bonus points like you can, you can do. But I thought, you know, given kind of everything going on right now, that maybe we could like, we could maybe chill on that. Um, hopefully you don't hear my neighbor freaking mowing his lawn. I hate, I hate that. <laughs> um, but any, anyways, that's going on right now. I got airplanes flying over, no helicopters. We back in the barn too. It's uh, too much pollen outside for me. Your boy is, is, is in struggle mode right now, but I hope you're good. Been nice to see some of y'all on happy hour. We were, pop, we were popping off on Monday. So, um, hope that, you know, some new faces come through next week and y'all just continue to come through. It's been real nice to chat, chat with y'all. Um, I get to, you know, for me, is to get to know, know people more and more people in a, you know, in a way I probably never, never would in a friggin' classroom. So, uh, that, that's what's up. Um, anyway, so corporations control and consumerism. I'm going to start this off with watching a clip from uh, a film called The Corporation. It's like this four-hour friggin' movie on corporations. Um, but I like to talk about how a corporation becomes a legal person. So well, actually, we're going to watch two clips from this. We're going to watch um, first a legal person, okay? And then we're going to watch the birth of a corporation. So I want you to look at, when we watch uh, a legal person, look at the role of the 14th Amendment. Amendments are the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights is basically, so every federal law in the United States is based upon um, interpretations of the Constitution. The Bill of Rights is um, more or less like the, oops, oh fuck, we forgot to include like freedom of religion and free speech and oh yeah, like we're going to make black people actual people and we're going to give, you know, people voting, right? You know, all this, all this stuff like the, oh shit, like, you know, what was going off in the 1770s doesn't really make sense now and we forgot these things, you know, um, that are, that we deem are important. Uh, so think about how a corporation became a person and what that means. And then we're going to also look at the birth of a corporation. Where did corporations come from? How were they birthed? And it's not like what you learn in like seventh grade health class, but how, how did they come about? Okay, so check these two clips. It's from Canada's most popular documentary, The Corporation, which is crazy because it's like 16 friggin' hours and there's Noam Chomsky in it, who is for me. But anyways, uh, check these two clips and then we'll come back and we'll get into some SP.